Yeah, yeah, people. My name is DJ Parker Rich right here on Insane Morgana. And as usual, we bring you the current news uh, making waves in the Ghanaian entertainment industry, also across Africa. Everywhere the news is, we will try our possible best to reach um, our main guys who can really dissect and talk about the issues very well. And as usual, one of my main man on this show, very, very popular on this show, P Fresh, wanted by most of the Nigerians for making a statement that Ghanaians, uh, Nigerians see, um, how do you call Nigerians, they see Ghana as abroad. <laughs> for that reason, they don't understand. But the fact is that Ghana has light every day, but Nigeria do not have light most of the time. So definitely, they're seeing Ghana as abroad. I mean, in one way or the other, if abroad, they have light every day. Definitely. <laughs> That's a joke by it too. But let me bring my man on the line. P Fresh, how are you doing, my brother? I'm good, bro. And because how's my little here. princess doing? They are good. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Is, is, is that German? Yeah, that is German. Yeah. See how good. It's also good. Charlie, that language, the amigo, take me like five years to learn. Uh, yes. Yeah, um, long time. Long time, long time. <laughs> yeah, long time, long time. They have the length. Yeah, man. I'll, 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 I'll get a teacher to teach me that later on. But bro, um, we have some news. I mean, it's been a long time. We've really missed you on the show. There have been a couple of stories that would have needed your attention or your touch. But I, I understand you were also busy as well myself. So today we are on to talk about the man who is always in, he's in the news for wrong reasons and so many reasons. Shatawale. Um... He's made some statements about Ghanaians. The other time it was about Nigerians. And then we had, I mean, a lot of Nigerians coming at Ghanaians, blasting us left, right, left, right, left, right for a statement Shatawale made. But Shata himself has made a U-turn to insult Ghanaians again. And this brings my mind to the fact that months ago, one gentleman called another Samoa Bedu said on UTV that Shatawale is the most inconsistent human being alive. And Shata was very, very upset, called him so many names, telling him his shoe cost only two cities, 50 pesos, and all that. And today, you make a statement, you insult Nigerians, you come back, now you insult Ghanaians. But before we touch, let me play the first video so that you can have an insight about what we are about to discuss today. Batman, you see me as a day. The reason why I fucking fuck with Nigeria is because me, me my blood hot like Nigeria, my own blood. Oh. Do you know, this is what Nigeria I can do for them. You know how I many Nigerians, they give me kicks, they support me. This is my world tour, they can go. Even Nigerians, what do they can do for me? Abua! How do you think, you think Nigerians are stupid like Ghanaians? You think Nigerians are stupid like Ghanaians? We don't fool too much. That's why we woke up with the German and they do Sakawa, they do fraud 419, 419. They get money past everybody for Ghana and they forget. We are too foolish because you don't see opportunities. Those are the things Nigerians they take leave. They see what is opportunity. That boy, I mean, when it comes to some artists come Ghana, he come, where they roll here. I know they go there because see the thing I want to have with the artist. He said, No, understand. Hey, unless you meet me, go to oh, this guy, now a guy with that because you know, they understand, you know how to roll. That be how you roll. What's that? If you say me, I will see Nigeria, tell me I will go clap for me. What the clap? No, no, go clap. People, they know me, they don't say me, I don't like clap. People, people with their ideas, they say that they have basa yeah, basa basa for you because somebody do basa basa, go do a minyama, minyama, chaka, chaka, go check. Well, I'll go back to the video again. It's quite disgusting <laughs> to me when he makes such yeah, statement yeah. and all that. Yama, yama, chuka, 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 chuka. What's your take about this? I'll use the right word I have to use. What do you think about this bullshit? All right. Um, in the first place, let me say good evening mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to your viewers. 
and to my fans out there, my, my Nigerian friends who, who want to battle me, yeah. Let me say good evening to each and every one of them. <laughs> I, I love them. I don't hate anybody, but I, I speak the truth. I'm, I'm always about the truth. I don't, I don't like to be beating about the bush, you know. Uh, beating about the bush is a thing of the past. Gone are the days when you see blue, you want to massage blue to make a black. But uh, it has come to a time when it's blue, is blue. When it's black, it's black. Red, red. All right. So uh, thank you for the opportunity as well. You're welcome, my brother. What, uh, what I will say is, Shata Wale, if you remember the first time on the show, yeah. I told you Shatawale is one of the guys who is really into showbiz or entertainment in Ghana. Yeah. There is no artist in Ghana who does showbiz like Shatawale. Not even Sarkodie, not Stoneboy, not anybody. If you look at the showbiz industry, if it is uh, if you have an industry, uh, which I know we don't have, but if you look at the showbiz uh, in Ghana, one artist who to me has been consistent with getting attention of people is Shatawale. You know, earlier you said I'm not saying he is inconsistent. Shatawale is not inconsistent. He is consistent with the kind of uh, with the line he came back from. You know, he as <laughs> in ten years he he, he reappeared, right? Yeah. So the way Ghanaians accepted him, Shatawale has been very consistent on that part and he's towing that part till now. I see. Just that uh, sometimes he's kind of uh, getting swayed, right? Sometimes he's kind of getting swayed, he's getting swollen headed with uh, the kind of support he has at the moment. Yeah. You know, there are some things when he does, I feel like. Uh, in as much as they've accepted him the way he is, he is getting overboard. And uh, the statement he made, I think, if uh, there are really rules and regulations in Ghana or laws in Ghana, Shatta Wale should be rearrested. That Ghanaians are yes. not stupid. Nigerians are not stupid Ghanians like Ghanaians. Yes, he, he, he's. He is uh, emphatically insulting everybody that Ghanaians are. He could have said some Ghanaians are stupid, right? Yeah. And and if, if you make such a statement, it's normal. But if you're trying to insult everybody across, yeah. you know, not everybody is interested in showbiz. Do you understand? I do. Yes, not everybody is interested in showbiz. There are a lot of people who have been very uh, uh, successful in their businesses their their line of businesses they've been very successful that you shatawale cannot compare yourself to them in any day apart from your show based thing so you can't you can't just stand up one day then insult everybody as if uh, everybody is doing show based in ghana yeah. right so me if there are laws in ghana shatawale should be rearrested and be questioned questioned and cautioned because you can't make any derogatory statements about everybody in ghana then go scot free uh, i think this is where ghana has to stand up to it adubra was a ghana yeah yeah mama a year juma now it's who ever of my own home what you are saying it's it's not like you, 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 think, you, you think we've given him so much room to fool around and to misbehave no you can always have the room but as to how you are going to use the room, it's up to you. Yeah. You know, there, is, there, there, are, there are exceptions to every rule, you understand? Yeah. You can go as far as you want to go, but there are a, when it gets to some level, then you are going overboard, then you have to be cautioned. So I think the IGP or whoever is in charge, those who see over the, the laws of the land should, should arrest the Tawali. And they should make him answer why he's insulting everybody. Because not everybody in Ghana is doing showbiz. Yeah. You can't just wake up one day, then insult everybody. You know, I understand the way he does his showbiz with, with a kind of vibe he brought and Ghanaians accepted him. Yes, Ghanaians have accepted him just as he is, but he should be in the lane 
that lane that they accepted you should be in that lane you shouldn't go across the thing say he's wiser than everybody in the country yeah myself i stand to be corrected but i think it's not everybody that has accepted what shata is doing some of us we see what he's doing as kind of uh, the, the reason why i'm saying shatawale no the reason why i'm saying shatawale has been accepted with his return uh when he went into Ezra for about 10 years the reason i'm saying he has been accepted is that shatawale didn't command that kind of fans when yeah. he was bandana yeah true of course it's very true he, he wasn't recognized he didn't get his speech but when he returned as shatawale he has more followers than any artist in ghana yeah and he's more recognized almost than any artist in ghana uh when when it comes to yenye didea he's more recognized yeah but you know it's only when it comes to branding that you can say Sakodia is ahead of Shatawale. But when it comes to Yenye Dede, Yema Yenti and Kadia, Shatawale is ahead of every artist in Ghana. And and that is what showbiz is about. He's very loud. Yeah. And the people of the ghettos, the streets, everybody has accepted him. Like Obia Janatu, you know, those times he used to be Kwao Kesia, yeah. about damn the street man, the, yeah. the king of the street. Yeah. Then Shatawale from nowhere bumped in, then he took over from Kwao Kesia. Then Kwakese has been disposed. <laughs> but I'm not from, sure Kwakese <laughs> would accept this position he agree him that he's been disposed. No, he still no, feels he's the matter. king of the streets. <laughs> no, 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 no. No cre, no cre. No cre, eh, no cre. There was a time it was Kwakese. Everywhere Kwakese. Abodam. Yeah. Everywhere. I was once, I, I, I was uh, uh, some uh, at a point uh in the in the in the team in directory of abodam yeah you know khan khan was in the camp of uh Kwaokese, right yeah yeah so in directory khan is my man so anytime wherever can be i did so I in directory i was with him, <laughs> I, I was in the circle yeah he's no more right he's no more he used right. to be I mean, right. <laughs> let us not bring him into the conversation but before we move on Let's continue. Let's yeah. listen to the later part of the video that uh, Shatter did. Where is Spotify? But if you know those places, like bad man, I don't go if you buy diamond chains and wear for my neck, oh, and see how they fight Nigerian artists. Because me say my diamond chains every day, my necks. If I calculate, it's just hundred thousand dollar. Go check the video in neck. Eh? Check this kid in neck. Check my Ben up, my guy Ben up in neck. Where they fight me, make it come up for that to me too. Make it understand. Because sad, you know, if you know the love, they love him way. He come. To the followers from Ghana, they tell us something like me and said no get problem. Like right now, no sense. Ghana, Ghana, we know how to support us, Ghana. Have we not be all these platforms? Like how many Shatawala would they be? That why people if they get things. Ah, but this guy hide the leaf. Oh, but this guy hide the leaf. Madman, there's money to be made on the internet. I'm an internet boy already. I don't want to do petek, 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 petek. But I know how to send email, create my document, and do whatever I could do. I know how to do that. You know, you know the streets. Most of you see most of that is they go that NLA. You know the streets. They don't know how to do those things. Well, 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 well. Um, I would, I would, I would like to say something before you come in. Um, okay. I think earlier this week, um, or later part of this week, we okay. had. Um, medical and Shatawale trying to go for a tour in which Nigeria happens to be one of the countries they will be visiting. Um, I mean, listening to him now, I feel like he's trying to play a smart card and um, bringing in Bernard Boy. That Bernard Boy, that is my party. Yeah, he he he. He listening to some Ghanaians and then they, 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 they try to spoil our relationship and all that. Do you think that he's trying to play a smart one to have or to feel safe in Nigeria? Because logically, I mean, I don't see any sense in this video that he did. Now, the same uh, better boy that you said so many ways, I mean, you, you, you shared private secrets that you guys had. You come here to say better boy be your guy the way they love him, and then people try to come between. That's kind of a uh, double stance. What's your take, bro? I'll repeat this read my lips and record it. What I'll tell you is when it comes to showbiz in Ghana at the moment, there is no artist who does showbiz better than Shatawale. 
Shatawale knows how to get attention of people. Shatawale is the man that if you want to sell, go for him. You know, uh, the, the first time we spoke about this, uh, Shatawale rant about Nigerians. I told him that wasn't too serious. Shatawale only wanted to get the attention of Nigerians. And trust me, after this video, after the video he did uh, in the Christmas, uh, is it the party or whatever concert yeah. he did? He has really gotten the attention of Nigerians, and Nigerians are showing him much love than before. Well, don't you think I it's a think negative attention that he's gained for himself? Because from where no, I see him, from the no, comments no, that I, I, I received, no, wait, wait. I don't, I don't know how you guys see showbiz, yeah. but showbiz is a business that is planned. You know, we sit down to plan all these things to get the attention. You know, for, for some time now, Shatawale hasn't gotten the hit. So if I haven't gotten the hit, how do I stay relevant? Do you, do you understand the thing? And misbehaving. How do I stay relevant? Yes, and that is his way. Now, that's what I'm saying. Ghanaians accepted the second coming of Shatawale this way, and it has been like this. Hmm. The only part I don't support Shatawale is when he's trying to insult everybody. He can insult showbiz people or people within the showbiz business, but he can't cross borders because a lot of people have done successful businesses in Ghana, and they are still successful. Yeah. So you can't just uh, insult everybody just like that. With yes. that one, I say you should be arrested. But apart from that, if he's going to stick within the showbiz arena, I would say Shatawale is the best and nobody comes close. Any day, any time, I will tell you Shatawale is the best. He knows how to get the attention of people and always, even if he doesn't have eight songs, Shatawale is still the man people will talk about. I see. So for me, for me, all this, all this ranks, brag, 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 he's insulting Stoneboy, insulting Jackie Apia, insult, that is showbiz. He is within the showbiz circles. I don't know what sparked the insult to Jackie Apia and Stoneboy. Well, I, I don't let really me know give you let me give you a little bit insight about that of Jackie Apia. To my okay. understanding, I think around the Corona era or when the COVID was in its peak, um, I think the government came in with some vaccines and. Um, they needed to um, encourage uh, the people, ordinary people on the street, to go in for shots. But then, I mean, you know, these celebrities are very influential. They have a lot of people following them. So I think the government decided to fall on them to um, educate their fans and the people following them to go for the shots. And I think on the side of Shatawale, he felt that it was an opportunity for him to demand money. In exchange to do that but i mean jackie also looking at his brand felt that i mean this is one of the social responsibilities that they can also do to help um the government in times like this when people are dying and i mean you should educate them to uh, stay alive she felt that it wasn't necessary for her to monetize it because at the end of the day as a celeb when all your fans are dead who then worship you as a, cell, a star you understand so i think jackie uh, made a statement somewhere somehow that she isn't in support of what shatter is saying that they need to be paid before they become advocates for i mean people going in for the shots and all that so um i think it's been a very long time but i personally feel that shatter is becoming the male version of abna koko that when he's going through his relapses and all that he brings in dead issues stamps that are not really relevant but looks at the persona involved and decides to talk trash about the person and i think jackie is somebody we all know that uh, she's not a rowdy type the ones that wouldn't even respond to and um, interviews which are not necessary and all that so to see shata or to hear shata saying calling her a prostitute and all that so that is uncalled for and i think that is the only problem between shatawale and then jackie because there is no way jackie would cross paths with shatawale in terms of business or any in any way so if you would ask me that is what the information that i have uh, but Stoneboy's issue, we all know that it's been there for 
years fought them back they resolve it and they reignite it so that was the jackie issue you see you see why i'm i'm, I'm always saying shatawale is the guy to call when it comes to showbiz in ghana you know this issue you are explaining to me i know but, but it's been so long yeah <laughs> it's, it's getting to three years now oh yeah i think it should be, it was around 2020 or so yeah no getting to three years now 2019 when the COVID uh was uh like uh, at the at the scary scary stage yeah i was in ghana <laughs> i was in ghana so i know about this story but trust me i've told you shatawale is this guy that if you want to sell anything just go to him and he will help you sell he's, but I he's feel too that, smart i mean no, shata no, hearing no, such no, kind no, of no, let me, let me messages land. makes let me him behave misbehave too much no let me land the thing about shatawale is he's always trying to find people that he shatawale can knock and he will get proper attention so he doesn't do it underground he's always dealing with what uh, let me let me let me point one thing to you you see shatawale touch on uh, on the e-levy e uh, e yeah and e-levy is one of the things people are opposing at the moment <laughs> so Shata speaks about e-levy almost everybody is going to listen to shatawale because he's talking about e-levy especially with him being that star yeah. having that follower having having that recognition out there everybody is going to listen to even shatter's bit than the mps so shatawale is always looking at people that he can hit to stay relevant especially looking at him coming up with a concept a worldwide tour <laughs> mm -hmm. if you if you want to tour the world then you don't have attention or your name being in the circles so loud but i forget it nobody no nobody is going to look at you see everybody is now talking about shatawale every day and it's going to be like this till he finishes his concert if you like mark it anywhere it's going to be like this until the world tour or whatever it is comes to an end so shatawale is always going to find something to talk about whether politics football whatever it is shatawale is going to find something to talk about it, it, it doesn't matter where it's coming from. That will be Shatawale for you to the world tour something ends. Eh, Stone Boy hasn't done anything to him. He just wants to hit a Stone Boy so that Stone Boy, you see, Stone Boy has also re released a song. Uh, Luke Ejo, what's up? Uh, have, you, have you heard that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've heard it. Yes. So, uh, you see, so that the trend is going to go on and it will be on and on and on and on the hype will stay longer and longer and longer and longer shatawale will be relevant relevant because right now he doesn't have much songs to to uh, tease the people about so he has to support it with something to stay relevant for his thoughts to make successful so if you ask me me apart from shatawale insulting every Ghanaian, i would say <laughs> he's the best show i have ever seen trust me okay but for him insulting every Ghanaian, he should be rearrested and be cautioned all right before you yes. move on let, let's listen to this tape too he made some statements in there i don't blame anybody but i'll still come back to my ghana artists where they won't be like nigerian artists where they can never be like nigerian artists because nigerian artists have snow say ghana artists, you for you full pass ghana celebrated you you, you full pass nigeria Celebrities, no, say Ghana celebrities, you put in full pass. Because when you see opportunity, you don't see it. Greed, hunger, poverty, death. Where then you put your family inside? You won't take them small people, they my generation. That one rich people for this country. If they must kill say that they sing music, they don't want me to sing. Because they might get money, I won't take it, kill go about. Make your lesson to computer some self and make it give them big person. Breko. Because most of you celebrities, cheap, 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 cheap dress, cheap life, hungry life. Well, P, 
Yeah, 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 man. L -l -l let me say something before you come out with okay. your submission. Now, on the other hand, we cannot always be containing this kind of bullshit. Excuse my ways, whoever is watching, but I, I, I just have to say it as it is. Let's look at the negative effects. Let's look at the negative impact of such statements. Calling your fellow artists cheap, disrespecting them, and at the end of the day, you will come back to cry that the industry isn't doing well and blah 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 blah. blah. Yes, still you are the first person to disrespect or make the Ghanaian industry look very cheap. How would investors respect this industry? When Shatta is always out there disrespecting people, saying a whole lot of trash about people, for how long would we keep saying this thing or doing this thing? The negative side of what Shatta is doing, that is what I want to hear from you, my brother. You know, uh, uh, if you ask me of the negative side that comes in mind at the moment, I will be uh, the, the, the only part that I think. Uh, it's not good uh, for the culture now is the youth that is looking at Shatawale. That is why my problem lies, because if I, uh, the, one of the young kids out there loves Shatawale, then uh, Shatawale is always insulted. I wouldn't be so surprised if uh, that kid also begin to insult people the same way Shatawale does. Right? So that is, that is where my fears are. But if you ask me, the business part of it, I will tell you that even the businessmen are, uh, the businessmen are understanding this Shatawale's life. So they know what it is. If you ask me, Shatawale uh, was into this kind of rants back and back and back, back and back and back and back and back. Yet, after that, he was uh, he was given an uh, endorsement deal to sign, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So they are all beginning to understand that showbiz comes with this, and this one gives you more followers. And they are beginning to understand the brand of Shatawali that this is his brand. He has the people. The people likes what he does. So as a businessman, I want the people. So if he has gotten the people, and this is what the people like, and he's doing it. If I put my product there. It's going to work for me. That is how come Shatawale is still having this. Uh, is it infinite? Uh, infinite yeah, infinite uh, yeah. as a brand, a brand ambassador. He's having some uh, MZ Coco Drobi money. Then, 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 then. See, yeah. when it comes to the well, business side, somebody will also oh, argue that because of that, he could have gotten more and bigger deals than what he's having. But some brands are very, very particular about their association and who they associate with. That is why he hasn't had a lot of endorsement deals because he could have had bigger looking at the commands that he make. But because of some of these behaviors, I mean, some of these CEOs are not really interested in doing business with him. Yeah, I agree with you. But you see, uh, in this world, how people see things are so different. Opinions are like noses. Everybody has one. You know, what you call uh, bad or negative might be a positive thing for someone. You see, uh, you put, excuse me to say, a pornographic mm -hmm. video or material on TV. Yeah. Somebody will quickly switch off the TV. Another person, that's when you say, say, ah, TV for you. Do you get it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's all boils down to censorship. It depends on what the investor wants. If you think say, your, your product seals the Shatawale's brand, you are definitely going to go for Shatawale because if you know what you are selling, you will know who to contact. So if you think your product seals Sarkodie's brand, you go to Sarkodie, then contact Sarkodie. So for the business side, I don't think it's much of a problem. But I'm looking at the impact or the effect on the youth. That's where my biggest problem is. But if you can, when it comes to the business side, <laughs> uh, I think it's a, it's a win for Shatawale then a win for any uh, company that's associating itself with Shatawale. And see, with the business side, many problem, many problem, but 
uh, the impact on the youth. That is where my problem is. So Shatawale should be uh, more circumspect about the kind of words or the choice of words he uses, especially when he wants to come live on Facebook. Well, um, people are also saying that, uh, that doesn't he ha ha uh, shatter any management or so does he not have good management or good people to advise him to, I mean, be cautious of some of the statements that he makes and all that. And then just when people started making that comment, this video came in. Watch this. As we speak, I can tell you, and I've said this severally, hmm? Shatter is the best artist that I know. And he's better than Jay-Z. <laughs> and all them, whatever you want to call. I'm telling you. Listen. <laughs> I tell him himself. Eh? His idol hmm? is Vibes Cartel. He's better than him. Go and check the records. Yeah, P, I would like to say this thing. Is there no any way you can praise yourself or tell people that you are good? than downplaying the works of others because clearly uh, bulldog is i mean he's my main man he's a brother and all that but i feel that he should be the man to be directing shutter on some of these things that he do but looking at state a statement yes i agree you should call yourself the best but do not bring somebody's hard work in the picture to downplay it you get me yeah i agree with you but let, let me tell you you know when it comes to management management uh modern management style is more of marketing than just uh managing Monage modern management style is more of marketing than uh just the normal uh, uh the women the way she women say we let me tell you good dog as a smart guy as he is, will never call his artist say an artist in the other. See, Bulldog is one of the most successful artist managers in Ghana. And also Bulldog track recorder. Bulldog has been able to nurture, nurture some artists. Uh, you know, they were they were instant hits. Yeah. Uh, when you look at I won, talk about five five. You see, talk about me. Uh, the guy who went to is it uh, uh which which uh uh niso niso now Niso called niso or joe okay. used to be called joe okay. yeah joe him. he used to be joe yes he used to be joe if you look at all these artists they went through bulldog and they became instant household names yeah so bulldog is one of the the, the greatest managers in ghana if if you take links entertainment then a couple of uh, record labels in Ghana. Bulldog used to be one of the best in Ghana. Yeah, I but agree. I, I don't know why. I agree with that. I have worked with Bulldog at Xylophone uh, Music before. He's one of the very, very, very hardworking managers we've ever worked with. But I still okay. feel that sometimes uh, streamlining certain things would be in better shape. You know, sometimes they, they say these things just to make people uh or make their themselves feel proud but it's not the reality mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so, uh sometimes you go, you go somewhere then they, somebody will ask you uh have you listened to cristiano ronaldo interviews before um, between him and messi they will ask him between you and messi who is the best and ronaldo will say i am the best yeah but messi is having uh seven balloon dogs <laughs> do you do you get it I get it. You see, Messi when the person that. asking the question put it that way, you have no option than saying you are the best. But then when you are making a submission, then you mention the other party's name as you being better than that person. I sometimes feel that it isn't really much. You know, you know the, the business of you know, showbiz comes with bragging. Yeah. The business of showbiz comes with bragging. You know, if you listen to rappers, Always rappers are saying, say, I'm the best. Even when he's even underground. When I'm my, I know. I am the best. I'm the best. I am the best. I'm 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 the 
it's one of the things you can't do without. And he might say, say he's, he's better than Jay-Z, but in reality, mm. we all know that when it comes to achievement, real achievement, in everything, Shatawale mm. can never come close to Jay-Z. I mean, but let me, let me, let me even future. make this. Wait. No, wait. And yet, Jay-Z, you know, and the future Shatawale are there. And I make can say, the greatest achievement even um, uh -huh. it is on so, the so, tickets of so you have to, you have to understand that if Chata, yes so you have to understand that if uh, his manager comes out to say say he's bigger than jay-z it's just bragging it, they are just trying to brag they are just trying to train they i mean only god get, knows uh, the yeah. excitement they had in their camp when they had the news that beyonce wants to do a not, song with not him. not in their camp all over Ghana, every, almost every Ghanaian was happy for Shatawale. Yes, for sir. such a milestone. Yes, almost every Ghanaian, including yes, myself, I was happy yes, for Shatawale for coming this far. So, if Bulldog comes to sit down there and say Shatawale is bigger than uh, Jay Z, you, you and I, who is an industry person, knows that it's not true. But they are just trying to stay relevant. They are just uh, trying to have things for people to talk about them. You see, if you if you if you are a psychologist, then if you are you are really listening to Bulldog. Yeah. Before he said that thing, he was even uh, about to laugh. <laughs> Meaning, he said he, he's not he's not confident about what he is trying to say, but yeah. he just want to put something out there for people to know. Say, uh, he has an artist who has gotten uh, the nerve to run shoulders with Vice Cartel, Jay Z, and uh, the those. Charlie Jay Z, Obi Awaji Gram is bare a twenty ahead. Now we see the Charlie Jay Z for a pet. W. Madam Fubi, Madam Fubi make his statement. Or see Zinu Kranu Kranu, Zinu Kranu just didn't make a hole. Zinu achievement to Kranu. You can't Obi Awaji Gram. Every no day, every no day, every no day, every thousand year day. We see the pet. No, 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 no. But you know, Shata always claims to be the African version of Bill Gates, which <laughs> we all know, it. it's lying. Uh, uh, Charlie, I, I like Shatawale for the first year. Uh, he was he was able to rebrand, then he came back stronger. Yeah. But there are a lot of things he does that, that I don't think support. Uh, there are a lot of things he does that, that I'm not in support. But no, I like no. him for the fact that he does showbiz. For sure. for his showbiz act, trust me, I will always say there is no Ghanaian artist who has done or being a mixed showbiz very interesting or uh, more relevant than Shatawale. For that one, I will say it anyway. <laughs> but it gets, to point, it gets to a point that he's trying to veer, you know, he's trying to get overboard. But for that comment he made, I think he should be invited again and be, be cautioned. So that is Shatawale for you. For, for Bulldog, uh, uh, you can't blame Bulldog because that is the culture. It's the culture. So don't blame Bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Yeah. There is a video of a woman claiming that uh, Shata has some supernatural powers that somebody spiritually somewhere is working for him and all that. But I'll bring that video later on so that we speak about it. Asat, uh, is it true or is it possible for the success of a musician to be backed by some kind of powers? I mean, that will be another topic for another day. But I think today you've done justice to um, that of Shatter. And then uh, it is an interesting one, I'm sure. Viewers will love it. Um, let's see what happens in the next episodes. Um, but if you have any message or any update on Fresh FM coming, we can leave it here for your audience and your fans to follow as okay. well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, quickly, what I will say is I thank each and uh, every one of you who has been listening to Fresh Radio Online and the support mm -hmm. you've been giving to us. You know, without you, uh, the airwaves, the media, is it's, it's hollow so they they make us feel the way we feel because of their support so yeah. i will extend my uh, uh, uh is it thank you to them and i i'll ask them for them to keep supporting the brand fresh radio online you know yeah. it's something we are not going to do here just in germany 
but it's something we want to bring home. So they should support their, their, their dream, let their dream grow, and we'll bring it back home and make uh, better things happen and make some changes in the media landscape. There are a lot of things we are learning here, and when we bring it back home, it's really going to have a positive impact in the media landscape. So they should keep supporting us and uh, keep listening to Fresh Radio Online. Anytime, any day, they can log on to www.freshglobalmedia.com for all their news updates, our social media handles, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Fresh Global Media. And uh, anytime, they can hit at us. And uh, any questions, suggestions, or whatever, we are here. This evening, we, we, I'm coming up with a countdown show uh, starting from 9 p.m. You know, the time hasn't been stable because I'm really, you know, <laughs> some way. <laughs> Some way. Sometimes uh, you have to hold on to some things out there before you come yeah. back and you, you, you go on there. Yeah. So uh, the times haven't, hasn't been stable yet. But, you know, as time goes on, then we keep uh, uh, fitting much into the system here. Yeah. I think we will try to streamline things, then uh, things will be more stable. So 9 p.m. to about 10 30, the countdown show is going to be on. We're counting down the top 20 afrobeat songs in europe you know last week uh, i think this guy was in there um uh, black black sheriff yeah black sheriff featuring yeah. bernard boy the remix version of uh you know cry friend is a second sermon second sermon the remix version of second sermon was in there you know uh there's no much Ghanaian songs in the top 20 afrobeat songs across europe you know, if you are high, a bit and When you yeah. go in there, it's about when, uh, when the twenty uh, songs, you know, about fifteen of them are from Nigeria, and about four or three of them from mm -hmm. UK, and maybe one from Ghana, one from South Africa, and Charlie. It's all being Nigeria. Ghanaians should rise up. Ghana for more, more money than not Mungura Europe happy. You know, this is where yeah. the recognition comes from. Why yeah. I said this yeah. is where the recognition comes from. Some people have been calling me, some Ghanaian artists have been calling me that say, hey, I'm in for Munshishim. I'm not doing anything fake, so I can't put anybody in there when you are not in yeah. there. Do yeah. I do official countdown? So if you're not in there, I can't I can't force you to be in there. No, so no, they should no, pardon no. me. I'll play your songs, but if you're not in the countdown, I won't put you in there because uh here everything you say, they check. Yeah. Why I said Habibi Abekabia, they check. So they will, they will go, then they will check, then they will see that I'm lying, then my credibility, everything is gone. So it's, they, should, they should really work out so that they will come into there. There was a time that it was Kiddy who came into the top 10 with Touch It. Yeah. But uh, it stayed just for a couple of weeks, then off. And uh, King Promise 2 came in with Ring My Line, then a couple of weeks off. So Ghanaians are not being much when it comes to the top, uh, top 20 Afrobeat countdown. So they should they should really push harder so to be recognized here in, in Europe, especially. Well yeah, I so think top it's a great advice you're giving them. Yeah, and top ten Ghanaian songs. So uh, they should watch out this evening between now nine PM to ten thirty PM live on Fresh Radio Online. I'll be sending the links across the social media handles and then definitely, Paco definitely. Rich is going to have it. Yeah, then he will be putting it across to you. So definitely, thank definitely. you for the support and thank you for the opportunity to speak in on your network to anyway, Charlie, my you brother. Are brother man. And I think yeah, um, we we'll use this opportunity to also wish um, um, Dr. Sir Kwame Despite a happy belated birthday. I mean, he's one of the big course, yeah. news that most of us look up to. I mean, his achievements yeah. and his deeds and his works are just there for us too. I mean, learn yeah, from. So we like to use this opportunity to say happy belated baby. You know, every day, I, Our every prayer day I is that we join the East Lego Fitness Club very soon. Oh, we will join. I, 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 I pray. I pray that I be the uh, next despite or even better. So, <laughs> so who do you want to be? Because you oh, Nana, 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 is it Nana Pia Mensa? Yeah, <laughs> Charlie India, you matter, you go carry cover, you go that things go come inside. <laughs> yeah, my Charlie, thank you, man. All right, I, see I, you I, another I, time. All the best.